everyone, I'm Laura Noel, and today I wanted to talk about why I am choosing to cloth diaper. Cloth diapers are nothing like they used to be. If you do any research, and there is a lot of research out there, um, you will quickly see that the Gerber prefolds and rubber pants of the past and diaper pins only exist if you really want to. I never thought I would cloth diaper. Of course I always thought that I would do what everybody else did, disposables. Uh, but a couple of years ago I started doing some random research and I started reading about all of the toxins in disposable diapers. And I started looking and looking for a healthy or healthier uh, diaper. And there are very few out there. Now, now there are some disposables that are a little bit healthier, um, don't contain quite as many chemicals, but really even they have their downfalls. I'm not gonna go super into it, but disposables have that polyacrylic gel in it that can sometimes break out of the diapers. It can give kids rashes, it can give chemical burns, all of that stuff. I did find a couple of brands of healthier disposables that I was okay using and I was, you know, like, oh yeah, we'll definitely go this way. However, they are almost double to triple the cost of disposables. So along the way, I found cloth diapers. I actually got introduced to cloth diapers from this ebook, Confessions of a Cloth Diaper Convert, A Simple Comprehensive Guide to Using Cloth Diapers by Erin Odom. I got it in a like bundle of ebooks and stuff and I just started reading it and I was shocked. I was completely shocked at what cloth diapers are these days. So I decided to give it a whirl. And let me tell you, it is easy to get hooked. So here are my personal reasons for using cloth diapers. One, those toxins. I do not want those toxins anywhere near my kids, but no way. Now, will I ever use disposables? Yes, I will use some healthier disposables, um, possibly probably in the hospital. I'm, I'm not sure that our hospital will allow cloth diapers. Um, and also possibly just, you know, in the early stages while we're getting adjusted. And, you know, if there are ever any issues or traveling, yes, we'll probably use healthier disposables. However, there will be no pampers, no huggies, none of that in my house for sure. Um, so very, very, my very first reason was I did not want those toxins on my child's skin. Um, the second reason is cost. Cost is huge. If you go for like the Target brand or something, you might be able to get away with diapering your child from birth to potty training for around $2,000, uh, maybe $1,500 depending on how, uh, how many coupons you use and stuff. Uh, but the average disposable user is about $2,000 per child. For the healthy disposables that I was looking at, it would be close to three dollars to $4,000 per child. That is a crazy amount of money. That is crazy. Um, so I set myself a goal of spending about $500 on a cloth diaper stash. And actually, so far, I have spent just under $500 on my actual cloth diapers and then about another 100 on like wet bags. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> so very first is the toxins. Number two is cost. And number three is the environmental. I'm not a huge, like, save the earth environmental person, but I do like to be green, I do like to recycle, and I am concerned. And my biggest concern is all about that poop in the landfills. If you read the boxes of disposable diapers, it does say, there's a little tiny print on there that says that you are supposed to put the poop in the toilet before you throw out the diaper. Now, nobody does that even though you're supposed to. So technically, using the cloth diapers and putting the poop in the toilet is really not a big deal because you're supposed to be doing that anyway. So getting all of that stuff, saving the landfill from all of those diapers from my kids, big deal. Okay, four, they are cute, okay? 
I will admit it, a big, big part of why I love cloth diapers and why I'm choosing to do this and why I'm really into it is because they're cute. Disposable diapers are not cute. Yes, there are the honest ones, the honest company ones that have the cute little prints on them, but really, how cute are those? I mean, they're okay. It's still paper. It's still paper. Cloth is so cute. I mean, look, you've got this little newborn rump rose with kangaroos. You've got little elephants, little dinosaurs. I've got giraffe print on this fuzzy buns. Butterflies on my Charlie Banana. This is the Lovelace Thumb Genius. So pretty. I got a, a Star Trek diaper made from CT Green Baby on Etsy. This is a little, um, I think it's a cow print from Green Bees. So soft and squishy. Uh, I've got Gumball from Rumperoos. I love polka dots. Uh, and I can't even remember. This is the Thirsty's Duo Wrap in the polka dots, polka dance, I think it is. And the Bummies Simply Light polka dots. Look at those colors. Like they have girls, they have boys, they have neutral. You've got these elephants from Bummies. Just. I will admit I have spent a little bit more than I should or you know could if I was really doing it for cost savings because they are so cute but I love that and I'm gonna smile when I put that on my baby and my kids gonna enjoy this they grew up so part of that really is the fashion but like I said I still have kind of that $500 limit because I don't want to go overboard now if you want to cloth diaper for cheap you can if you want to do it, your cost savings you can get some pre folds and some covers like this is the flip cover I just got at their Black Friday clearance sale for five bucks you know pre folds there may be two bucks each you can get flats for a buck or two you can get flower sack towels for a buck at Target or Walmart you can cloth diaper for like 50 bucks even less than that um, you can get a good little stash for a hundred you can do it super cheap. Now, I don't have that cost restraint. And so, yes, I've paid a little bit more to get flats with elephants on it or, you know, polka dots and <laughs> instead of just the, the plain fabric. And that's just because I can and I enjoy it. Um, but I'm still conscious of it. And I know that we don't have the money to spend two to four thousand dollars diapering each child but five hundred dollars to diaper all the children that we're gonna have is totally doable and I think that's a great savings um, you know nowadays there's even you can buy PUL waterproof fabric I got this from Joann's um, this is the baby oil fabric and this cute little monkey print and I'm gonna sew a diaper cover from it um, you know, there's just so much you can do, and it does cost a little bit of money, but it's nothing compared to how much you would spend on disposables. <clears throat> so that is the fashion part of it. Um, and those are my main reasons. The toxins, the cost, the environment, and the cuteness are my personal main reasons. Now, there are other reasons out there to do it, like it might help your child potty train sooner. Um, it, it, there's just a whole bunch of different benefits, but those are pretty much my personal benefits. Now, like I said, I've kind of gone a little bit overboard with the cuteness, which I don't have a problem with. And so that's my, my stash is just under $500, and I'm going to sell any of the ones that don't work for us or give them away or whatever, and that's totally fine. And then there's wet bags. I have a, a little problem with my wet bags here. <laughs> I think they're just so cute. Like, I I have, I think, j just about $100 I've spent on wet bags. And I could have waited for sales and got them a little bit cheaper, but I bought a few full price and, or just was mildly on sale. But they're just so pretty. I, I love them. Um, I just love how cute they are. And... I have all the different sizes. I have large, medium, small, 
um, and white pouches and hanging bags and I don't feel bad kind of going a little bit overboard because this is my stash this is my my investment you know I don't need to keep running to the store for diapers I don't need to keep putting out that investment I made my investment and this is what I chose so those are my personal reasons for choosing cloth diapers. Uh, if you cloth diaper or want to cloth diaper, what are your reasons? What are your main reasons and why did you choose that? Let me know in the comments below. And we thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next week. Bye.